everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be trying the entire French McDonald's menu. made a decision to fly to France mainly to try the McDonald's menu because I was in Paris about a month ago and I was going in and out of the McDonald's on a couple of the days and I was like wow this menu looks insane and then my mum went to Dunkirk last week and she tried something called a McDo and my mum isn't the biggest fan of fast food but she was raving on about this burger saying Anna you need to try it you need to try it and I was like you know what this is an excuse for me to book to come back to Paris and try the entire McDonald's menu so next to me here I have got a lot of food. I'm not here alone. I am here with Callum. So Callum is going to help me eat a lot of this and we're going to give the rest of it away because I don't want any of the food to go to waste. But I am so excited to try this all for you. Obviously, I say entire menu. I didn't go absolutely crazy and buy every single item because that would be stupidly excessive. I just bought a fair few of the items that I know I would really want to try and I haven't tried before. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. First of all, I'm not actually just here to try McDonald's. We are filming some other videos whilst I'm out here as well, even though flying to Paris for McDonald's is probably something that I would do. The chips, I mean, I feel like the chips are going to be the same everywhere. I had these last month when I came, but the one thing that I love about like abroad McDonald's is they do mustard. In the UK, they don't do this. Oh, I swear, mustard makes my whole McDonald's experience so much better. And in America, when they do the honey mustard as well, it is 10 out of 10. I wish I could bring some of these back. Maybe I could. Hmm. But the mustard sauce is amazing. That is literally my favorite thing from McDonald's. And I also have here this chip sauce like it's literally called chip sauce which i've never tried before so let's try some of this on one of the chips hmm. i mean it looks like mayonnaise or sour cream and chive wow okay i like need a bit more very sour cream and chive that's amazing why do we not do that in the uk i swear mcdonald's in france just does it better than any other mcdonald's i've ever tried mm. i did just get a normal coke because the whole menu was obviously in french and i could not read the menu to figure out what any of the other drinks were so i just went classic and i got a coke mm. yeah i don't know where to start first like when i tell you i've got so many burgers here i literally do not know what to go for first let's go for this one this is the big tasty but i don't know if it's the burger version or the chicken version they do a chicken big tasty over here is this the chicken one this is this is the chicken big tasty this looks so good this kind of just reminds me of like a big version of a mayo chicken but like it is it's huge bury me in the big tasty sauce honestly i really like how that tastes with the chicken i've never tried a chicken big tasty before but with the chicken it actually tastes really nice mm. the chicken is kind of southern fried like in the uk the chicken is like almost kind of battered but here it's definitely got a bit of a spice to it but that is really good it's got really big onions in as well mm. for my first burger i'm gonna give that an eight out of ten that is definitely something that i would order if i was to order from french mcdonald's again i just keep having a chip in between because it's mustard mm. next one we have got the cbo burger and this is chicken bacon and onion as soon as i see the word onion i'm like yep i know i'm gonna love this oh wow okay look at the bun the bun has got like what i think is bacon pieces on it that's interesting and there's bacon inside lots of onion and cheese very bacony and the bun is square which is interesting so the thing is i'll be honest i love a bacon roll but i don't really like bacon in burgers and this tastes to me very breakfasty it's really nice but i probably wouldn't order it again for a dinner time sort of burger because i really just do associate bacon with breakfast okay i can't really taste the chicken the bacon is very 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 overpowering but i love how there's bacon on the bun i've never seen that before with bacon on top of mcdonald's bun so that is a very nice little touch i like that all okay, right let's go for a muck wrap this is a bacon wrap okay so there's bacon i think in a lot of these burgers this looks like it's got bacon chicken and salad in mm, that tomato is gorgeous their chicken is different over here though it doesn't taste like a chicken select which would normally be in a wrap in the uk mm. in all honest opinion i think this is quite plain there's no like sauce in it whatsoever the only kind of like liquidy thing is the cheese and i feel like a wrap like that needs a sauce in it mm. I'm gonna give that like a seven out of ten. I feel like that definitely needs some sauce. Do we try some chicken next? I have got this box here and it's a variation box. So there's three different types of chickens. There's nuggets, then there's these round pieces of chicken, and then there's almost like a select sort of chicken. So I'm gonna have it with my mustard again, but let's try a nugget. Mm. Their nuggets are good over here. But I'm still gonna be honest, I don't think you can beat UK nuggets. I think the batter on our nuggets in the UK, nowhere else has batter like that. This is like, again, like almost like a southern fried nugget. It's that sort of vibe. I love the nugget though. That is good, but I prefer UK nuggets. So I'll give it like a seven out of 10. Let's try one of these round ones. Oh, 
Okay, very strange consistency that. It's like, quite hard. Mmm, what is that? I kid you not, that tastes like it has like chicken in the cheese. I'm so confused what that is. That's not chicken. That can't be chicken in that. Or if it is, it's so cheesy. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm, yeah, not for me. The other one I have already tried, so I'm gonna try that a little bit later because that was in the wrap. But the nuggets are really like, but I like how you can get like a variation box. I feel like that's nice. So obviously the UK, we don't offer that. Like the UK just do 20 nuggets. But the fact you can get loads of different chicken, is really cool. I have so many burgers. I literally don't know what to go for. I'm gonna go for this one. This is the 280 burger this looks so good okay it's in almost like a sourdough sort of bun and again it's like a rectangular sort of shape and in this we have got a burger tomato sauce onion cheese well two types of cheese actually tomatoes and i know i've already said it but so much onion okay let's give it a go this is my first bit of beef. Mm. I feel like this is just kind of like a quarter pounder, but a more expensive tasting quarter pounder than what the UK offers. It's not as greasy. And I think that is because of the bun. Like the bun is almost like freshly made. I really like that. Wow, that's really good. Mm. In all honesty, that just tastes exactly like a UK cheeseburger, but like a glorified UK cheeseburger. So yeah, I mean, it's just a cheeseburger, I think. I don't think there's anything else in it, but I like the bun. I think the bun has made it taste nicer. And I love the amount of onion. I love the amount of cheese. And I feel like in the UK, sometimes they're really sparing on the onion. And for someone who loves it as much as I do, I want loads. So the uh, 280 burger, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. I don't normally just get one plain cheeseburger in the UK, but the bun is definitely giving this an eight out of 10. Just going back to my honey honey what am i on about my mustard with my chips okay let's skip the burgers for a second and go to this this is what my mum got and my mum absolutely loved it and it's called a crock mcdough it's super thin like it's really really thin oh and there's paper stuck to it so i'm not gonna eat that side i think it's like a like a pancake sort of thing or like a really flat bun with ham and cheese in it Okay, it's like a little ham and cheese toasty. That's really nice if you don't want something super heavy, like a burger. Like, we don't offer anything like this on the UK menu. This is really nice to have a little switch up. My mum had this at breakfast as well, and she said she really liked it for breakfast. I keep staring at it weirdly because I nearly ate the paper. I don't want to eat the paper. That's gorgeous. And normally, I don't like ham in toasties. Normally, I just like cheese toasties. That ham is good. I actually like how thin it is as well. I was saying that, though. I have a very small appetite, so I feel like that would fill me up. Like, that with maybe, like, a hash brown and a drink, I think would be really good. I really like that. I'm actually going to rate that a 9 out of 10. That's like the best thing I've tried from the menu so far. Okay, we have still got six different burgers to try. That one has got bacon in. I think that's the McMuffin. Let's try this one. This is a variation burger, which means it's only on the menu for a limited amount of time. And it's a signature. A signature by McDonald's. Whoa. Okay, love the packaging of this as well. This doesn't feel like McDonald's. This definitely has a different sort of restaurant feel. Loving the variation of the bun as well. Look at that. That is a proper like shiny bun. And it's red onion in this, not white onion, it's red onion. Okay, let's give it a go. I think this has got barbecue sauce in it as well. Mmm, that's got like a spicy, spicy barbecue sauce in it. Wow, okay, that's really good. And you know what? It tastes completely different to the other burgers that I've had, which is so nice because sometimes I feel like a lot of the McDonald's burgers taste the same and there's not a lot of variation between the tastes. Whereas this, this tastes like a whole new burger on the menu with a whole new taste. Another an onion as well. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. There's a slightly strange aftertaste and I'm not entirely sure where it's coming from, but it tastes good. I would definitely order it again if I didn't want something as greasy. That's what I'm finding. None of this food is coming across greasy whatsoever. I've got a load of desserts to try as well. Oh my gosh, my stomach is literally going to be full of just McDonald's. This is from the breakfast menu, but they serve all day breakfast here. And this is a sausage and egg McMuffin. Now, I don't like the egg in a McMuffin, so I'm going to have to take it out, which you might think, okay, that's not... Oh, it's just egg. It's just egg and cheese. Okay, so I can't really give this a fair a fair shot because I don't like it. The McDonald's egg just really doesn't sit well with me. So I'm just going to try the McMuffin, I guess, which is super plain. But I wish I liked McDonald's egg. There's something about the white of an egg that makes me feel really unwell. And I used to love it as a child, but as I've got older, I cannot eat it. And it used to be the opposite. I used to hate the yellow bit, but now I love the yellow bit, the yolk, and hate the, like, the white bit. That one was a slight fail because I physically cannot eat the egg. However, cool that they offer it on the all-day menu. Okay, we've got a couple of other things to try before we get to dessert. Let's try this. This is, I don't know what this is. This is a mini burger. It's a very small burger. I think this might be from the saver menu. I think it's a mini Big Mac. It is. This is a mini Big Mac. Mmm. 
Mm, the sauce is kind of spicy on whatever that is. That can't be a Big Mac. It really smells like a Big Mac, but it's super peppery. Really, really peppery. I'm so confused what this is. I'm just gonna have to tear, but it is a Big Mac. Okay, their Big Mac sauce over here just has a little bit of a spice to it. It tastes very peppery. That's what it just tastes like a really peppery Big Mac. Kind of fun though that you can just get one burger because obviously a Big Mac in the UK has two patties in it. But I like the fact it's got one, but I'm not a fan on how much pepper there is. It's really, really peppery. I'm gonna give that a six out of 10. I like the fact that you can get like a Big Mac with one beef patty but i'm not really sure on the sauce over here i was kind of saving my favorite burger till last and i have a wrap but this is the petite plus plus here petite plus here i don't know if i'm saying that right but it's a mini wrap and it was from the saver menu let's try this one i think it might be a chicken and bacon wrap Mm. That's just exactly like the other one that I had. Maybe I just got a miniature version of it. Hmm. That is the exact same wrap I had earlier, just in a smaller version. So it's nice to know they also offer a mini version on the saver menu. I'm saving my favorite burger until last before we try all of the desserts. This is the Big Tasty. Obviously, I've already had the Chicken Big Tasty in this video, which was amazing. But this burger, there's just something about the Big Tasty sauce that just hits so different with me. And I am obsessed with it. Have they put onion in this? They haven't. And in the UK, I can't remember if they put lettuce in a big tasty or not oh no they do they do ignore me mm, that big tasty sauce mcdonald's actually sent me a it wasn't big tasty sauce it was a bottle of big mac sauce and they only made it was either a hundred or a thousand of them and i still have the bottle it's in like a memory box of mine because i refuse i know i'm just obviously gone moldy now i was like i'm not eating it like i'm not touching it because it's so rare and they sent me in like a case of stuff with my name on and if they want to do that for the big tasty sauce or if they want to bring out the big tasty sauce in a pot like this that would go down like a treat well that burger 10 out of 10. I mean, I think the UK one is slightly nicer, but it's still good. I actually slightly prefer the Chicken Big Tasty here because they had way more onion and way more sauce in it. Like, this is all still really good. But Chicken Big Tasty is kind of like, it's kind of up there for me now. Let's try some desserts. I have to give it to France. Their dessert menu from McDonald's was insane. Like, we obviously have McFlurries, but they have so many more flavours. And they have like a sorbet sort of thing. So this is a Kit Kat sorbet. And it's got loads of Kit Kats on and it's pink. And then they had a Lotus Biscoff McFlurry. How is this a thing? Lotus Biscoff is one of my favorite things ever. Every time I get a milkshake, I always get a Lotus Biscoff one. So the fact that you can get it from McDonald's here, I am so unbelievably jealous. Oh my God, that is the best McFlurry I've ever had. McDonald's knew what they were doing with that one. They need to bring this to the UK. Wow, I have no words. That is the nicest taste of McFlurry. And that ice cream is so creamy. McDonald's, yeah. You knew what you were doing with that. That's 11 out of 10. Okay, let's try the Kit Kat sorbet. How cool is this? It's like pink. We don't have anything like this in the UK. And I'm going to get one of the Kit Kat balls. Whoa, that sorbet tastes like Calippo balls. Whoa, sorry. I'm actually taken back by that. I've never tried sorbet before. This is my first time trying sorbet. McDonald's Paris, your dessert section is elite. That is crazy. Oh my God. If any of you have ever tried the Calippo balls, I don't think they really do them in many places anymore, which is really sad because they are so nice. They're just amazing. They're like little ice balls, like flavored ice balls. And it tastes exactly like this sorbet. I mean, it's probably a good job. We actually don't have this in the UK because I would be ordering it all the time. Now that flurry that sorbet has top popped off the video for me. And finally, they also serve macaroons because obviously it is France McDonald's. They're gonna have macaroons, so I got two of them and I know I'm gonna love these because I actually bought some last time, but you get a strawberry one and you get a chocolate one. I'm gonna have the chocolate one to end off this video. Oh my gosh, I'm in a food coma. I'm actually, I'm gonna have the biggest food baby after this. Just let it all sink in. Find you know how to do your desserts. Wow. Oh my God. Macaroons are so good. All of those desserts are genuinely an 11 out of 10 and beyond. Like they are the nicest things I think I've tried from the menu. Overall, obviously the desserts are top tier. If you're in France, if you live in Paris, wherever, you need to try any of these desserts if you haven't already. Love the chicken Big Mac. That really, really surprised me. I thought that was really nice. Obviously the mustard sauce, that is my absolute go-to when I get McDonald's abroad. I'm trying to think of the other burgers that I really liked. I really liked the, the croque McDough. I thought that was really nice. Like the ham and cheese toasty. I love how they offer something a little bit different on the menu and how you can get an all day breakfast as well. I feel like that's something that I wish McDonald's in the UK offered or at least they offered like all day hash browns. I am gonna end this video here. Um, Callum is on his way back and I'm sure he's going to indulge in a ton of this food and I'm going to finish off it as well. I am so stuffed right now, but I cannot wait to eat this. Like, oh, 
I'm actually in shock at how amazing that sorbet is. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. Let me know what other videos you want to see whilst I'm in Paris. I already have two video ideas I think I'm gonna do over the next few days. If you have any food recommendations or restaurant recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below. Or any classic French food that you think I should try, like snails, but let me know in the comments down below as well. And other than that, I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye.